Hello everyone, welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 5th edition edition, the party that refuses to hurt people with magic. Because really, swords are built for killing people. Last time we came and cleared out these cultists up here, Lazelle got an upgrade in her sword, and I was pondering going down this hatch to loot stuff, but right now, I know there's a bunch of food down there, at least there used to be in patch 4, and there's a bunch of weapons and stuff, but we're already kind of capped out at our inventory weight. So I'm going to wait on that until we kind of need some more food and we can come back and do a bunch of generic looting. There's a bunch of gnolls out here and many piles of bones and generic things. Let's try this way. In case you're injured after that fight, you can pop back here and there's an ancient rune circle if you need to do any fast traveling of your own. Looks like it claims some victims as well. Claim some victims, but there's no loot or anything in there, is there? No. Who knows if that'll open up after early access. It's going to need to be some ways out of here. Alright. Let's swing a left over here. And we'll jump cut just down the path. Ah, oh, we don't need to jump cut. It's right here. We'll come back to Karga. See what she's doing now that we've taken out those cultists. I'm sure she'll be plenty grateful for us and give us a bunch of money and powerful magic items and the like. Hello. Did you get the bastards? We did. For now, but thank you. Her mind touches yours. Gratitude, warmth, and relief. Then, a light, sharper than the truest blade, brighter than a star. It fills you with awe, forcing you to your knees. And from within, a winged figure steps forward, graceful and terrible. She places her hand on your cheek and smiles as she carves her name across your chest. Who was that in your memory? Zariel, fallen lady, defiled celestial. Ruler of Avernus. I was her prisoner and her champion. She tried to break me. The paladins you killed were acting on her orders. She'll send more and worse. What will you do now? I'm going from one hell straight into another. Home to Baldur's Gate. I've got a score to settle. Uh, we should travel together. Choose the company. Until I've shaken Zara yeah, she won't come with us yet. I'd only put a target on yours. My advice? Stay away from the city. When I catch up with the fuckers who did this to me, the streets will run red. Yeah, but I'm so excited about getting to the city. So, we completed the devil hunt. What I did notice is as we were walking through here, we were controlling Shadowheart, but during the conversation, it was Frobo that had the full focus. So I guess they've kind of streamlined that to kind of the the Tav character always being the one who gets the full focus of attention in conversations where applicable. So we've returned that. We could go up to the Goblin Village. This is Knoll Central, and I'm not sure I want to be doing that before level 4. So we are going to hop back across here. Astarian's health be damned. And then we'll sneak over to the goblin village. Perhaps there's those two who are having fun in a barn that we can take away some of their attention. Where's our first route up here? I know that there's some hanging roots somewhere. Must be these ones. We just gained 60 experience. I don't know what for. My responsibility to cleanse myself. And we've got a scrawny, sleepy bugbear. Oh, an Astarian wouldn't cross the river because water. Fine, we'll force you to do it. I know, I know. Water hurts the acid man. 
step forward and jump, you fool. Subtle steps. All right, let's catch up with the rest of the party. We did have a hotfix today, but it seems that guiding and pathing has not been accounted for in all of that. But yes, we have this sleepy boy over here, and so that's very obviously a job for a Starian and his sneak attack. Uh, what are we going to do more damage with? We'll do more damage with the bow, and even though they're prone, we do have advantage in sneak attack, so we'll take that. That was a weak attack. Can't afford any mistakes. Everyone else, please get all up in here. No one back home will ever believe this. Why are you guys not pleased at the top of the vines? Shall we dance? All right, we have a full action and a bonus action, and they're facing the wrong way. I wonder if we can just hide because they're facing the wrong way. That's what they get for being drunk, I guess. Big crit. What was being buried here, huh? Precious stones. Jewelry and cash. And I don't want rotten eggs. They're no good to us and our camping supplies. But we have the four of us here together again. So let's see what's going on in this little barn here. I think between the four of us, we can probably deal with whatever we might find inside. Right, we want Lazel doing the knocking. As you approach, a guttural scream and a succession of quick bangs rattled the door. Then a low moan. Someone, or something, is having a bit of fun. Well, not anymore. Leave it. Whoever's inside doesn't want an audience, and I don't want to fight. Uh, well, I would like a fight, because fights me in XP. And we're a bunch of belligerent assholes. We're here to ruin people's day. Uh, just just attack. That's our mo. We are murder hobos this session. Astarian. Bonus action. Hide from around the corner. And then, do we think we can get a sneak attack in? That's a. Big miss, it seems. All right, move back. And then hide again. Maybe we'll get another sneak attack in in a minute. Right, uh, menacing ranged attack against the closer one. Can't hit anything for peanuts right now. Um, action surge. And let's try that again. It seems we didn't spend a superiority die when we missed. And we missed twice. You're done, Shadowheart. Uh, let's get some bless going on for everybody. Should have done that before the other attacks I made. I concede that point to you all. Lovely repost. And a lovely miss. Right, I would rather kill Bertha first, because she goes into a rage if you kill Grokol. But I don't really think we're going to get that much advantage. Um, as a bonus action, though, I will increase my own AC. That seems like a great time. 
And let's see if we can disarming attack against this giant club that is being wielded here. Well, we deal 20 damage, which is massive. But I think they made a strength save, is it? Uh, potentially forcing the target. Can't see. But hey, let's try again, because we did so much damage there. 18, and they failed the save. So now their heavy spiked club is just sat on the ground there. 2d8 bludgeoning damage. Cannot be held by a humanoid. I guess that makes some amount of sense. Anything else for Lazel to do right now? Doesn't look like it. Back to the top of the group. We somehow have advantage here for a sneak attack. Bertha is now very unhappy. But we still have two bonus actions left. One whole damage. And let's go for a menacing melee attack. Another big miss. Let's end this. Then Shadowheart. We're currently concentrating on Bless. So since we kind of have a wall of people between us and her, we'll stick to our ranged attacks from the back. That's huge. Uh, we're done. They go into a rage. Yeah, that was that was pretty painful. But uh, I still think we're going to be all right. Yeah, I don't know if it's just patch 5, or I don't know if it's doing way more melee attacks than I'd ever considered trying to do before. But we are doing a lot of damage really fast. Well, that was unnecessary. Were you jealous of them or something? It was... Lazelle that did that. Your curiosity could have turned very unhealthy if that fight hadn't gone our way. Well, it was so our way, it was unbelievable. Sorry, Astarian. I did not mean to chat. Seven cash for us. How much is this club worth? Only 20. I'm going to leave it then. How about Groko? Two cash. And in here, we've got a pork loin. That'll be a tasty dinner. Nothing on this bloated corpse. A is for Azeroth and other gods. Empty tubs. Right, we are now out of short rests and we spent a lot of superiority die there at least with Lazel. and Andrew is rather hurt so what we're going to do Shadowheart if you could please do a second level cure wounds on I called him Andrew Frobo take you. and then we're going to want to take a long rest I think but we're probably not going to be doing it inside the goblin village. So I'm going to take this opportunity to go back to the Druid's Grove, sell a bunch of stuff, and then I'll catch up with you when we get a long rest in. Staring at it won't bring it back. Come on. We'll never fix these brain worms if we stop and gawk at every piece of carrion you find. We were walking back and we found a dead boar in the road. Let's see what we make of that. And let's add Guidance to that role, please. I don't think I've ever succeeded on this check before. The boar seems to be fresh, only a few hours dead. Examining the corpse, you see two small puncture wounds in its neck. And is it dead enough for you? Well... 
I know we have proficiency in intimidation. And we've got our guidance going. Very nice. I it's been drained of blood with wounds in its neck. It's been killed by a vampire. I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to worry you. They are ferocious creatures. Insight check. But don't worry. I'll keep watch tonight. We won't have to worry about nocturnal visitors. Now please, let's go. Oh, I wish I could roll insight. Alright. I'm going to leave this crowd of creatures because we're near our carry weight limit. Might be a little bit of food here for us, though. We'll take all of that for supplies. I'm hoping there'll be a crate somewhere, like, in the base. Oh, all that value. Yes. Somewhere in the base we can store all the food that we've gathered. Because otherwise it's going to be tough holding on to all of this food all the time. I don't need ladles. Cash I'll take. And stones I will take. Alright, so that was the boar in the road. Let me get back to the druid's road again. Alright, here's our old pal Aaron. Get our selling on. Refugees, adventurers. Right. We definitely don't need platinum coins, malachite, knives, coins. I don't think any of us can cast mage armor or acid arrow. We'll keep the spider egg. Although the pouch is now empty, so we can get rid of that. Do you have anything I really want? Dragon's Grasp. Light. But not finesse. Deals an additional 1d4 slashing damage to burning targets. Rain Dancer. Create water. Plenty of supply packs if we really need them. I'll take all the potions of healing. That's fine by me. And there's no reason I shouldn't get another leather helmet or something. Please. But for now, that's fine. What about everybody else? I'm sure we've got plenty of rubbish on us. Precious stones. Can we sort by type again? Precious stones. Mugwort we can use as supplies. Apparently a lot of the weight we're carrying is just... Um, just in food. That should be with Shadowheart. She's the only one that can cast that. Let's give that to Astarian. He's going to sneak attack with poison more frequently. Alright, we'll trade that. Astarian, you got anything spare? Extra set of boots. Garnet ring. Extra shield. Get rid of this, that, and the other. Alright, that looks good. And Lazel. Old longsword, hand axe, dagger weapons, leather armor. I don't think we're going to use the Watcher's Guide. I'm just going to get rid of this. Nor, I think, are anyone going to wear the Oak Father's Embrace. Are we? Medium armor 13 plus 2. Let's double check that a second. Alright. Medium armor 13 plus 2. Anyone wearing anything better or worse than that? 14 plus 2. Not proficient with medium armor, I believe. 14 plus 2. And 15 plus 1. Yeah, I don't think we're going to wear the Oak Father's Embrace. We'll get rid of that. Refugees, adventurers, no one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well, all right, and then thank you for beating back those gob that's quite all right. I'd like to leave. Uh, 
with that all dropped off, time to get to a portal for a long rest. So, from our favourite teleporter here, we can go to camp and end the day. We have enough camp supplies, yes. We've got way more than enough camp supplies. Chucky, come closer. Sure. Dry skin, clear eyes. You do not suffer, you flourish. Disturbing. Nice to see you too. Abominations grow inside us. Our bones should ache, our mouths should bleed. Yet we thrive. It is madness. It is Sparta. The ship, there was a voice. It promised to change us. Yes, I heard it too. The voice, the promise. They are manipulations. They are obscene. Reject them. Finding a cure is what matters. Wise words. I am almost impressed. Keep your rest short. Time is not our ally. I mean, an eight-hour rest is an eight-hour rest. Uh, there is a wooden trunk. So, from here at the main camp, let's pull a trunk over. This target is too far. going to move this right up next to the beds for my convenience. Let's have a look. And then into that can go all of the party's spare food. Yeah, I think that's just about everything. I've kept two supply packs on Astarian's person for more immediate use. We've still got six supply packs in the crate and then all of this food otherwise. And if we come out of this menu, we can see... Can we see the weight of this? No, we just know that we're not heavy. We're not strong enough to pick up the whole thing. So let's hop into bed. Use one of those. I missed a fish head, apparently. We can use 40 of 40. The Albert egg counts as one food if you want to eat it. But I think we'll get better value selling it. And then we can full rest, get back all of our health, spell slots. Oh, hello. I'm right here. Where are you? Astarian keeping watch for things in the night. Seems so. Still got his book. Bless him. There it goes. All right. Fully rested and ready for another day of adventuring, especially ready for some pillaging now that we actually have inventory, weight, carry space. But until then, thank you ever so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.